Welcome. I am here today, Ms. Senzig, to show you how to access your assignments on Discovery Education. This video today is going to be for my seventh grade students to show how to do our next assignment. So first you need to log in to your student portal and then you're going to go to app services and site. You're going to scroll down until you find Discovery Education, and you're going to select this button. And then it will take you to a page that looks like this. It'll say welcome, and it should have your name on it. And then it's going to show you all the assignments that you have to do. Opening up our assignments. so. Next, we are going to look at, we looked at last week careers in agriculture, so now we're going to look at the next lesson for week two. Just select that. If it gives you an error code like that, you just go back and refresh. And then you're going to select Start Assignment. All right, so here we are on the page where I want you to do your assignment. In order to interact with the board, you always must click this create want and that will allow you to edit the board so here we are agriculture exploration week week two so the instructions say you will use this page to type your answers and responses to questions to type on the document just double click on the text box it should open for you and allow you to type if you have any problems with this, please email me at cpk8ag at gmail.com or at kantonsich at dadeschools.net. So the page begins with a bell ringer. And the bell ringer is asking us to, in the text box below, please write down one career that you would absolutely hate to have. And then underneath that career, explain in five words or less why you would hate that career. And then you're gonna do the same thing for a career that you would absolutely love. Okay, so you're gonna double click here, and then you're going to type the name of the career you hate and then in five words or less explain why and then you're going to put the name of the career you would love. And then you're going to write in five words or less why. All right? Very simple and easy to do. And now we're going to Click to the next page. And this is going to take us to Career Finder, matching my interests. So we have a series of steps that we need to follow. The first one is to use the link to access the Career Finder with. So we're going to click here and we're going to open that link. And it's going to take us to this page. All right, so what's the next thing that we're supposed to do? 
Step two says that we need to select the start now button. And then you will see three different categories to choose from. You can complete these in any order. So let's see what they're talking about. Start now. Oh, here must be the categories. And it said I can complete them in any order. So once I've selected a category, you will see many icons to choose from. Each icon represents a question. I'm going to go through each icon and answer the questions and press save. All right, so let's see what they're talking about. What's an icon? Oh, select an icon to answer. So this must be the icon. So I'm going to answer this question based on how I feel. So which of the following best describes your educational goals? So we have four options. I'm going to select one and then click save. I'm going to go through which of these describes your favorite subject. And then this last one. During a group project, what role do you typically take? Save. All right, I answered those three, and then I'm going to go through and answer all of these. And then select Return to Menu. Go to the next one answer these and then return it to the menu All right so i'm just clicking whichever right now so this video doesn't end up going um forever please on your own read these and go through them seriously because at the end it is going to generate several careers that are supposed to be of interest to you according to the preferences you wrote. And for future assignments that we do, they're going to rely heavily on the responses that you get once you submit. So if you want to have a serious answer, and not be bored doing an assignment on a career that you really don't like because you didn't answer the questions properly, that would um, not be good. So let's see. We get one, two, three, four different careers. So these are the careers for me according to the answers that I have submitted. So let's go back see what we're supposed to do. We click submit and we received our four career results and we're going to use that information to answer the questions below. So we have four boxes for our four results. So it's asking us to put the name, which is right here, information technology specialist. So I would double click and I would put that here information technology specialist and I misspelled it I'm gonna go and fix that and then it says in my own words briefly describe this career so I'm gonna read the description and in my own words I'm gonna summarize this I'm gonna write it here and then it's asking for us to click on the view more tab and read more about the career so that we can know if this career sounds interesting to us, why or why not. All right, so here's the full career profile. It describes what your responsibilities will be for this job. Um, 
is there a future in this job? What kind of high school education do you need for this job? And how much money would you be making? Okay, so this is going to help you decide if this sounds like a job for you. And if it is, you're going to explain here. Okay, and you're going to do that for all four of these careers here. And then we have one more page for our wrap up activity. So this is a fun interactive activity I thought you guys might enjoy and it also helps you to fully immerse yourself into the mindset of having this career. So you have two options for this activity. Option one is that you can use a social media site to create a social media page for your favorite career. And so that I can access that social media page and grade it properly, I'm just asking that you paste the link here and that you also make it public so that I'm able to view and grade your social media assignment. So what do you need on your career profile? Okay, you must have a picture showing what the career looks like. You have to have some sort of cover photo that's going to show the setting or location of the career. So this could be an actual building or if your career is, say, farmer or something to that nature, maybe you're going to show a farmer in a field, some sort of live picture of where that career is and what that career looks like. Of course, you must name your career and you must describe the career focus area. Okay, this is very important. And in order to find that, we're going to go Um, you also must create a list of the people that you would like to work for you and any related careers. So you can imagine who your employees might be. Maybe you can add some of your friends or other businesses that might uh, support this career that you've chosen. Six is the interest groups describing what professional organizations are useful for this career. So this is going to be organizations such as other business leaders or corporations, such as maybe government officials or clubs, things of that nature. So seven is... Uh, basic information about your career. So what are your job requirements? What companies are looking for workers in this career? And how much would you be paid? What are the requirements for getting the job? Okay. And again, you can do that through an outside social media site, or you can go here and upload pictures or text boxes for more information to plug in. And again, you can do that through here, upload from your device, add text, or even search discovery education for those pictures or information on your career. And once you're done with that, you're gonna click that submit assignment button. And if you have any further questions about this assignment or the activity, please shoot me an email or leave a comment in the team room where we can get together and collab with the rest of your classmates. Maybe someone else has the same question or problem. Thank you and have a great day.